Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on user level threads versus kernel level threads in operating system. In operating system, there are two types of threads. One is user level threads, second one is kernel level threads. The threads that are created at the user space is called as user level threads. The threads that are created at the kernel space are called as kernel level threads. So the total memory space can be divided into two parts. One is user space and second one is kernel space. The threads that are created at the user space is called as user level threads. The threads that are created at the kernel space is called as kernel level threads. Now we are going to the differences between user level threads and kernel level threads. First one is User level threads are created by thread library at the user space by the users is called as user level threads. So that means user level threads are created at the user space. User level threads are created by thread library by the users. Whereas in the case of kernel level threads, kernel level threads are implemented by the operating system at the kernel space. Second one is implementation of user level threads is very easy. But implementation of kernel level threads is somewhat complicated. Next one is uh, user level threads does not recognize it by the operating system. So the operating system does not recognize the user level threads but kernel level threads are recognized by the operating system. Okay. In the case of user level threads, contest switching takes very less time but in the case of kernel level threads contest switching can be take more time here contest switching means switching from one user level thread to another user level thread so that take very less time in the case of user level threads but in the case of kernel level threads Contest switching takes more time. So that means switching, switching can be done from one kernel level thread to another kernel level thread that can take more time. In the case of kernel level threads. Contest switching requires no hardware support in the case of user level threads. Okay. For switching from one user level thread to another user level thread, there is no requirement of hardware support in the case of user level threads. But in the case of kernel level threads, it requires the hardware support for switching from one kernel level thread to another kernel level thread. Next one is user level threads are faster to create and manage. So for creating user level threads and managing user level threads is very faster. But kernel level threads are slower to create and manage. Okay, for creating kernel level threads and for managing the kernel level threads, it takes slower. Next one is suppose if one user level thread perform blocking operation then entire process may be blocked. If one user level thread perform blocking operation 
then entire process will be blocked. Whereas in the case of one kernel level thread perform blocking operation, then another kernel thread can perform its, can continue its execution. Okay. One user level thread perform blocking operation, then the entire process may be blocked. Whereas in the case of kernel level thread, one kernel level thread perform blocking operation, there is no effect of other threads. So then another thread can perform, can continue their execution. Next one, user level threads can run on any operating system. Okay, we can take any operating system. On that operating system, we can create user level threads. But kernel level threads specific to the operating system. Okay, so based on the operating system, we can create kernel threads. Okay, because of that reason, kernel level threads specific to the operating system. Next one. Support provided at the user level called as user level threads. Support provided at the kernel level can be called as kernel level threads. Next, examples for user level threads are uh, Java thread, POSIX thread, POSIX. Examples for kernel level threads are uh, Windows Solaris. Windows Solaris thread is called as kernel thread. Okay. So, these are the main differences between user level threads and kernel level threads. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Ne. So, Divela Srinivasarao SRI NI BA SA RAO Divela Srinivasa Rao. Thank you.